This is a mess. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. It is bright and early and it is time to set the puppies free and feed them. So I have mommy's food on top and the puppy's food underneath. They're already, they can hear me, they're excited. Let's go. Well, good morning everybody! All right, so before I set them free, I'm gonna get everything ready. <laughs> They're like, let us free! Oh. Oh, does that sound delicious? Yes. Hold on, I need to get your water ready now. Chill, babies, chill. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, okay. Go get your food, go get it, go get it. Oh, November always comes to me, it's so sweet. She's like, I don't care about food, I just want dad. Oh, hi, September. Sweet girl, you gotta go eat breakfast before it's all gone. Go get it, you gotta go get it. Oh, you want some love too? Well, go, 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 go. I'll give you cuddles later, I promise, November. I promise I'll give you your lovings. Honey, you gotta get food before it's all gone. These babies are still hungry, so it's round two. Who's hungry for more? You guys are growing so fast. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna even do this? You guys are making this very difficult. Okay, I had to do it off camera. I brought it closer and now they're feasting again. It is wild. You guys are monsters. You guys eat so much. Well, good morning to you, Miss Mother. Oh, are you here to bully Moon? Well, you tell them. Tell them how you really feel, girl. Oh, yeah. You got a lot to say this morning, huh? Wow. Well, anyways, the puppies need to be brought in for their shots. So we're going to do that today, which I'm sure is going to be hectic trying to get all the puppies in my car in a cage. So I'm not looking forward to that at all. Okay, so I'm just remembering now that I actually left the crate with the previous puppies at Wagmore. So I was like, oh, it's okay. I have this one. I can put this. It doesn't fit in my car. So I had to get a little bit creative and use the crate that the puppies escaped last time but I think I'm I made it so they can't escape so check this out this is like a very like floppy crate that can work maybe so I put it in between between the seats to give it more structure and then I'm having the entrance be at the top so there is no way for them to get out it is kind of small for 11 puppies but it's a short ride so let's go try and bring these puppies in here and see what chaos ensues okay I have three in here there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit 11 in here there's just absolutely no way so I'm gonna have to take just like six of them today and then five another day all right you guys have to sit here I'm gonna zip you in while I get three more okay okay I have six of them in here they do not like this at all oh luckily it's only like a 10 minute drive this is gonna be quite hectic all right babies let's go for a ride okay I'm here at Wagmore they have a couple of people in line in front of me so I'm just chilling in the car they were okay in the car they definitely cried a bit but someone took a poop i can smell it. it does not smell pretty in my car you know what i have some cologne let me spray myself let me spray a little in the air let's make it smell like a beach in here i don't even know who i took i literally took them in such a quick hurry i think maybe karen's here i think maybe march i don't know but we're just gonna wait here and wait for them to get vaxxed up oh <sighs> So the mobile vet can't get me in for whatever reason, I guess, I don't know. So I brought all these puppies here for no freaking reason. I love that so much. So I just reached out to Wagmore and I was like, can you, you guys are just gonna have to come to me to do this because bringing 11 puppies across town is just impossible. Especially when they're humongous now. Hi, sweet girl. And I don't have the proper functionality to transport them. So I'm irritated because I drove all this way and sat in the car for half an hour to just be turned around. So I love that for me. I have the babies. <laughs> and I have three following me on the ground. Come on, babies. Come on. We're gonna go. See your siblings. Hi, Mother May. Your babies are here. Come on, babies. Yay. Did you guys miss us? Did you miss us, babies? 
it is puppy cuddle time. Hello. Again with the scratches. Hello. Ow! You don't need to jump up on me on that side. I'll give you all attention. Do we need a fight right now? Why we don't like her the JJ? Get out of there, you sicko! He's a pervert. Okay, is it Karen's turn for love? Ooh. Karen has have some loves. We love Karen too. Hey, don't bite her face. <laughs> Excuse me. What is going on here? Karen 2.0 is falling asleep at the bowl. Honey, you had too much to drink tonight? You should probably get a ride home. What are you doing? Look at those little teeth. That's little dino monsters. You look real sleepy, girl. Honey, give me your keys. I'm not gonna let you drive home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you a ride, okay, sweetie? Don't you worry, we'll get you home nice and safe. Okay, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm not talking to you. I was talking to the woman incapacitated. Back off! I also haven't weighed them in so long, so I'm gonna do a little weigh-in session. You are gonna be huge, I know it, but so is October and so is February, so. Place your bets right now. Leave in the comments who you think is going to weigh the most. We're First time ever because a leaf blower guy next door decided to start leaf blowing but we're gonna try our best just try to ignore that so last time red was in the lead we're now switching to lb's hey stop chewing on this so may thought it would be fun if she would eat this so this may not be the most accurate scale but we're gonna just go with it so let's start with our boy red okay wait it says 12 pounds that's heavy. We'll see. I, I mean, this might be totally off. We might not even be able to do this. Next is October, but he's over there. So we're gonna switch to September. Who is? Nine pounds. Okay, so I think it is accurate. Nine pounds versus 12 pounds. So three pounds difference. This is hard when they're all here. All right, we'll, we'll do June since June's right here. June is 10 pounds. You're a little heavier than your sis. You two used to be on the same wavelength, and now you're, oh my god, they're not getting us all destroyed. All your dirty paw prints are getting over this. Okay, who are you? Oh, Augustina. Miss Karen herself is nine pounds. I wonder if all the Karens are the same. All right, we'll do March next. March was the lowest last time, and now you are right on track. You're nine pounds as well. Oh, they're so heavy, oh my gosh. It's so exciting. I mean, they are eating dry food now, so it's like they're all getting as much food as they want to consume. So it's no longer like a fear of, are they getting enough milk? But this is more just curiosity to see who's the heaviest. This is April, who's eight pounds. The littlest little girl. You're up, July. Let's see if you're like Augustina. Hold on. You're nine pounds as well. Oh my gosh. They are breaking the scale. All right, Miss November. You're heavy. Oh my God, I feel like you're 10 pounds at least. Nine pounds. Yay. All right, we need December and January. Okay, December's up. Oh my God, you're huge. <laughs> you're 12 pounds as well. Oh, that is a big old belly. All right, Jan. Jan weighs 10 pounds. All right, last but not least, October. Yeah. Yes. Hold on. This is a mess. 12 pounds as well. We have a tie of these three. Oh my God. This is craziness. That was chaotic. The heaviest was December, October, and February, all tied at 12 pounds. And our baby eight pounder was April. So wild. Let's get a size comparison between the two. The biggest and the smallest. Sorry the camera's a little tilted. Well, there you have it. That's the size difference between the biggest and the smallest. And that's loud ass Karen for you. It's just so crazy and so amazing to see Miss May getting nice and thick. It's just such a wonderful thing to see her coming back to herself. Um, which, by the way, May is up for adoption now. So if anybody is interested in adopting her, she's a very sweet woman who loves love. And she'd make a great addition to your home if anybody wants her. You can go to wagmorepets.org and apply to adopt her. Well, it is bedtime, everybody. I do want to give you guys an update on the parasite stuff. So today was day five and that's when people said that stuff comes out. And I looked and it was kind of hard to tell because I ate like a bunch of sus. This is probably too much information, but I ate a lot of celery last night. And so today when I woke up and I went to the bathroom, I couldn't tell if it was like pieces of worms or just celery. <laughs> Strands. So I was unsure if it was worms or not. 
I know it's gross, but also at the same time, like if it was like good, get rid of them. It's hard to check when it's like it goes into the toilet. It's like it's it's underwater. Like I don't know what's in there. But anyways, I just thought I'd give you that little update. I'm gonna be fully just honest with you guys. What happens because i'd be curious to hear so anyways i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and until next time i'll see you next time